If you want to factory reset your Windows XP computer, please check this video. Part 1. How to factory reset Windows XP via installation CD. Using the Windows XP installation CD to restore factory settings is the most classic and thorough method. This approach will erase all data on the current system partition and reinstall a fresh copy of Windows XP, bringing the computer back to its original state. Step 1. Insert the Windows XP installation CD into your CD or DVD drive. Step 2. Restart the computer and press the correct key F12, F2, or ESC, depending on your PC to enter the boot menu. Step 3. Select CD-ROM drive as the boot device. Step 4. When you see press any key to boot from CD, press any key. Step 5. On the Welcome to Setup screen, press Enter to start the installation. Step 6. Read and accept the license agreement by pressing F8. Step 7. Select your Windows XP partition, press D to delete it, and then press L to confirm. Step 8. Highlight the unpartitioned space and press Enter to create a new partition. Step 9. Choose NTFS file system for formatting. Step 10. The setup will copy files and restart automatically to complete the installation. Step 11. Follow the prompts to configure your username, date, time, and network settings. Part 2. How to factory reset Windows XP without CD. If you don't have the original Windows XP CD, you can still factory reset Windows XP without CD by using a data wiping tool like Coolmuster Data Erasure. This method is ideal when preparing a PC for recycling or resale because it permanently removes data, making it unrecoverable. Step 1. Download and install the data wiping software on your Windows PC, then launch it. From the main interface, select the drive wiper mode. Step 2. Choose the erasure level you need, either quick erase or deep erase. Then select the drive you wish to wipe, whether it's an internal hard drive or an external USB device. Step 3. Click Erase Now to begin the wiping process. Confirm your selection when prompted and make sure you've backed up any important data, as this will permanently erase everything on the selected drive.